Hello everybody, welcome to the third round of the play-ins. This is the last chance saloon for everybody here. Everyone in this is now one win and one loss. Uh, manager one in the blue is feel good with Orcs. And as you can see, he's made a real big mistake here. He has marked his favourite player with a flaming head. Now this guy with Mighty Blow will be targeted as he is obviously his favourite flipping player. Uh, four guards, a tackle and a mighty is pretty reasonable, isn't it? Twelve players with an apple, no troll. Um, it's all right. For fuck's sake. Thanks, Elf. the fucking turn, man! Luckily, we're in the 30 sec oh, we're past the first 30 seconds, so you trying to ruin the video really makes me want to ban you still, but uh, I won't. And then um, we've got the Imperial Nobility from Kian Dare, his manager two in the red. Four guard on the uh, bodyguards, a block ogre for his double. A dirty player, lineman, dodge blitzer, a tackle blitzer, and a leader. So pretty standard from him. Uh, I do prefer Cruz's all guard build, but this is uh, pretty, pretty reasonable, isn't it? But yeah, he's he's marked out his favourite player. I might just have to beep all of my sound effects, honestly. I'm, I'm like it's something that I can learn to do, isn't it? I can learn how to do that and then bleep them all. I don't want to have to, but I guess I do. The good thing is, I would get, I would get a, uh, I would get. Canut Beast would come back, which would be great, wouldn't it? Nobs, yeah, Dimmy, Dimmy's favourite. He loves Nobs, does Dimmy? He would take Nobs all day. <laughs> good old Dimbo. Oh, instant cars. Not on his favourite player, but uh, he won't be happy about that at all, will he? I don't know why he set up like this. This is like the anti-frenzy setup, nearly. And I just don't know why he set up like it, because there's no frenzy on the <laughs> Imperial Nobility. So he could have just left, like... Uh... I guess he had to leave decent players exposed, but I just don't understand why he did this setup. Anyway, it didn't, didn't make any sense. It could, I guess, the throw. The th he could have benched the thrower right, and then had two linemen exposed, but he just didn't. Like he chose to put guarders in the on the corners there, didn't he? So can't really complain too much about them getting smashed to bits. Now I'll just learn how I do it. It's better if I learn how I do it, isn't it? I just don't want to, but I know it's better. Interestingly, tag that implies he's going to wrestle him, wrestle blitz him. Good though, it looks safe moves first. Love to see it. Love to see the safe moves first. Could have moved these as well, right? If he's going to move them now, he could have moved them before. This is a bit dodgy around the side. Could have maybe reinforced that as well. Like this dirty player could have come here or something. But now he's got the ball on a blodger. There is one tackler. foul him because this is a big a big foul potentially I guess he hasn't uh, he hasn't moved people to foul him really weird playing the throw on defense like really weird right the lineman's just better the lineman's li literally just better because he's armor nine instead of an armor eight weak link really terrible fielding the throw on defense I would say like, I, you know, I think it's terrible. First of all, I think it's terrible taking Orcs, because you could have had Lizards. And then, he didn't need this assist. Um, and then, once you've taken Orcs, like, okay, have a thrower, because he's got sure hands. But, um, it's a bit rubbish. Like, it's a bit rubbish. But, you know, if, if you... He's got pass as well, right? He's got He's got a better PA and pass, like... If, you, if you're trying to do a two or three turn, it is better to have Mr. Throw. Like, his stock has gone up even though he's more expensive because, like, good luck scoring a two or three turn with Orcs without him, basically. 
So. Did he use the apple? Apparently he did use the apple. Um, at some point. It's really hard to see what's happening. It's really hard to see what's happening. So maybe he used the apple on this guy. Missed next and it failed. The, the turn one blitz. But I don't know why he exposed the uh, the guard. The guard blitzer to the, the guard blocker to the blitz. That seemed a really suboptimal move. But there you go. Um, he did. Right, thank you, Baron Bucky. And since he has one tackle... I mean, you don't really want to... Gang foul it, but you definitely want to like keep it controlled, right? You, as the uh, as the knobs here, you definitely want to keep this guy controlled. Be aware of where he is. Try and isolate him. You, you know, you can you have got dirty play, so you can foul him, but it would have to be a pretty good foul to uh, stick it in. I think armor nine is is very good, isn't it? The good thing is, of course, now that guard applies to fouls, he can just fight around the tackler and then probably get an absolutely massive gang foul in. You know, kind of accidentally because with all the guard, which is really, really nice. Commits the uh, leader there, but of course he'll be able to block, block his Mister Throw Off. Getting very engaged here. Got to be wary of this movement five, Biggum. <laughs> so now he's a four-two-two away from two D on the ball, which you know it's something he could do, right? break waxing a re-roll to get the push away at least interesting I mean this is pretty terrible for the Orcs down two players doesn't go for the ball hit like I didn't think he would go for the ball hit but it's something to be aware of now that they're so fast they can they can surprise you if you're not you know if you're not thinking about them Now it's looking pretty easy for Kian Dare, isn't it? Um, starts with his 2D with block. Because everything's safe. So, oh my god, another Kaz. Okay. <laughs> We're rapidly turning into a dicing now. But now this is great, right? He just gets to move the whole team up into here. Wow. Wow. Well, I hope this is how my game versus Orcs goes. <laughs> I tell you. That is pretty amazing. They're so OP. I mean, they are not. They are not OP. But, you know, anyone can roll dice. And these imp knobs are certainly rolling dice. I don't think uh, Feel Good really did himself any favours on defence, right? Like exposing the best player to a blitz. When he had two bad players to expose the blitzers. Um, but, you know, who can say if it's good or bad? It's one of his best players. A guard, a guard black orc. You don't think that's one of his best players? Okay. Okay. He literally exposed them all, by the way. He exposed his mighty blow and his tackler as well. He exposed all of them. He, exposed, he was still exposed to the blitz on turn one. Just don't know why I did it. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> Exposing his tackle here. Yeah, everything was exposed. It was just whatever, whatever Key and Dare wanted to hit turn one, he could have hit. Really, really, really bad setup. Really bad setup from there. Uh, and like, to, he, first of all, he could have just like he could have just normal rule of five, which would have been better. And second of all, he still could have made it like the two worst players could have been more exposed. So does he go five plus four plus here? One, two, three, four, five. GFI, get there, power him. I mean, that's the play, isn't it? If he does anything else, I'm pretty sure it's incorrect. Well, some mighty blow hit on the leader. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. 
It's not bad, but it's not it's not gonna win you the game. Like you're just playing for overtime now. Which I don't know, I think you should try and stop the score here. Five plus four plus you've got you've got rerolls, right? So you can reroll the five and the four. And then GFI, and then you can reroll the hit. So you've got like three rerolls. You could put all three rerolls into trying to power him there. And then if it goes into the crowd, goes this way, your blitzer can pick it up and score. Like you've got to give you. I think you've got to give yourself the chance for that because you've taken two cars, and uh, you know you're just playing for overtime. The the only way you can win this game now is is in overtime, which is, as I can testify, is not a great thing to rely on. Completely, cause completely ran around him. He really overcommitted to like the line stuff. Didn't go back in any way. So you know he got unlucky, obviously, with the removals. But but it wasn't wasn't very well played. Sorry. For saying my opinions. <laughs> Where did he go? See, I mean, he's only really, really down the big and right because the linoid keep off now anyway, so he is down a guard. Big and I can make some blocks. He's not going to one turn. Uh, it's in the title, I think. Daily. It's uh, Feel Good with Orcs and Keander with Knobs. Dimmy's favourite. Big Knobs. Dimmy sure does love Big Knobs. He likes Big Knobs and he cannot lie. <laughs> He will take knobs every day. Doesn't make his 3D lazy. Like he's literally got two guards there. He could have made that one 3D with a mighty blow. It's, it's just, you know, unequivocally incorrect. One million percent, isn't it? Hello, Demento. Like with, with other things, you know, like, you know, like obviously standing up, safe moves first, all those things, you know, they're usually correct to stand up first and like you might get some kind of benefit from standing up later even when it's not obvious. But in those situations there's absolutely zero benefit to not 3D. Hello Christopher B. This is this is your kind of lazy minimum anti blitz setup, right? Which is fair. They are only knobs, after all. No one cares about knobs. Hello, Breaky T. I've started to put your link on, on my YouTube videos of the event, if that's okay. Which I assume it would be. I didn't ask you about having the command. <laughs> so, oh my god, well there we go. We've got a, we've got a Kaz back on a uh, Lino, a random Lino. Yeah, Bricky T, legend, legend. Thank you so much for that. Very, very cool tool. Look at that, he goes for his favourite player. He saw he saw the flaming head. He knew what to do. There you go. He saw the flaming head and he's like, right. I'm going to nail him. Goes for the 3 plus dodge. Very risky, isn't it, with armor 8 armor? But uh, look at that, he makes them both. Look a dog. Of course, armor 8 is armor 9 plus. Uh, if they might, there could be new players, couldn't they, who don't know that armor 9 plus used to be AB8. So I'm not just stupid thinking they're actually armor 8 plus. It's just. Uh, you know, it's a long. Well, people have been playing this for a long time with other things. This is okay, isn't it? Gets an extra hit. No, it doesn't because he's got stun firm. But it would have been nice getting an extra hit, except he's got stun firm. So th this could be a 1 0 win, right? Like, there's no guarantee the Orcs get this done on their drive, but they are uh, even players now, so. 
you know, still favoured a score as much as Dimmy thinks the uh, stand firm wall is impregnable. Uh, if you remove a few, it gets it starts to get pretty easy. He's got all three guards there, right? So he's got to really hold the sideline hard now, because he's he's got the he's got the centre locked up, hasn't he? So as long as and he has double screened here. Really nice. Is he going to blitz the guarder? He is. Gets the power now. Does he tag? And not the blitz. Oh, he does, and he's got to do a GFI. Oh, I wondered if he was just better off, you know, following, because then at least you're in, right? If if you follow, you're in. But that, I think that's better. Like, so it's interesting, isn't it? I do think this is a better square. But if you just follow, at least you're there, right? Like you're in the way, and it's not super easy to deal with. Like it's pretty easy, but then they're not getting forward and stuff, and you are arm and nine or ten plus, and you've got blocks, like. But this is better. This is obviously a better square to stand in. Is it worth? Is it worth the risk of this? Who can say if it's good or bad? It's one of those that you that you know it's a better square, and you think, well, this is better. I'll just do it. And then you roll the you roll the one, and you're like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but you know, five out of six, you've done the right thing. I mean, it's not game losing failing it, but it was just you know it's still better to just been where he was right. Like he could have just followed. It, it depends how much you hate rolling dice in a winning position. I'm starting to think I should be even more conservative than I am. <laughs> The danger here is like the switch back up to the right, isn't it? Because he's he's had to put in so many players to get the 2D there. Oh, he just kills an orc. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. <laughs> yeah, the problem is he's put he's put so much like he had to put three guys to hit that one. And now the both down he's freed this guy up. And this is all holding very well, but this is a little bit weak, so I guess we'll see a switch over up here. This has been some very good dice for the uh, knobs, yeah, for sure. <laughs> the mighty bloke, the mighty bloke can't do anything but the random knobs. There we go. The random knobs have just made loads of cats. <laughs> And this guy's based, so this is just uh, an easy 2D on the ball. Who can say if that's good or bad? Knobs OP, yeah. Doesn't get the power, but it's still 2D on the ball, right? Gets the ogre in. Gets the pow. Doesn't follow because this is fear of getting surfed. <laughs> the blitzer catches it. Well, he's got half a chance, I guess. Just a potato, dodging potato. Hey, <laughs> very good, daily. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I need to do? I need to I need to steal the Elliot emote, seeing as he doesn't stream anymore, and then if if them get if the one with him holding the baseball bat, and then call it like Imperial. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Elliot getting slapped in the face by a knob. <laughs> Brilliant. I tell you what, Elliot had some great emotes, didn't he? I guess people can still sub to him, can't they? So, you know, even though he's not there. Even though he's not streaming anymore, people can still sub to him for the emotes. Mm. 
This is uh, this is rough, isn't it? This is really rough for the orcs. I mean, they have made a couple of a couple of uh, bodyguard removals, right? Which is what you need to do. But unfortunately, they've just taken too much themselves. Should have, uh, yeah, should have been blitzing this guy, which he does. Double geophyte. Oh, I should have double geophyte, I think. Well, I know. <laughs> and this guy should If he wasn't going to double geophyte, that guy should have come around as well. But not a bad little push, was it? You know, at least he didn't, at least he didn't double one and lose the game. And another Kaz. Oh my god. Even if this goes to overtime, it's <laughs> it's looking horrendous for the Orcs. Jesus. So now we've got the 1D Surf. Puts in the reroll, gets the surf. Just quietly, this guy should have done the second GFI, like I said. <laughs> and the ball's there. The ball's disappeared, by the way. Look, the ball's disappeared. But it has the marker still, but it's completely disappeared. Well done, Cyanide. Still a chance for the orcs. You're telling me there's a chance. Not much. Put it up. Nice assisting from that square. And then dodges him off to really secure it. And that looks like a pretty good game for Kiando. <laughs> I mean, he, it was a bit of a dicing. It was a bit of a dicing. There's no getting around that, you know. Four Kaz <laughs> versus one mighty blow. And I guess like the early dice, like because he got the instant cars, and then and then another removal that just like kind of snowballed itself, didn't it? It's so that you know it became hard to play his way out of that. Like yeah, he gave up lots of hits, but nobody could have not given up loads of hits when they got that that many down men down instantly. So there was things he could have done. That you know he could have played better. Obviously, feel good could have played better, but. Yeah, I don't think anybody's winning a game where you take four cars um, to overpower dimp knobs. So there you go. Um, congratulations to Kian Dare, who now gets into the final playoff. And commiserations to Feelgood, who is out. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.